Hello guys, this is Elena from We Learn to Share, and in this video, we're going to cover the very first question of the 2016 AP Statistics FRQ. Now, let's jump right into the question. Read a question. Natural gas is used in some households to heat the home, to heat the water, and to cook. A utility company sent the following bar chart to the household to show the amount of natural gas measured in therms, which is a unit of heat energy, that the household used last year. The chart shows the number of therms and the average monthly temperature in degrees Fahrenheit for each month of the year. The first question, describe how the number of therms used each month changed over the year. Well, I think this question is pretty easy, right? Because you can clearly see from January to July, it is decreasing, right? But from July to December, it is actually increasing. So what we're going to write in the answer is the number of therms used decreased okay decrease each month from january to july and then increased each month from july to december sorry for handwriting and this is not enough because you need to say that there is like a general trend like you see that in january and in december it's relatively high you use many therms maybe because it's winter maybe because it's cold but compared to that in like months like june july august like the summer um you relatively use smaller amount of therms right you also need to say that in your answer you will say in general general the lower the amount the average monthly temperature the more therms were used and this will be your answer the next part it asks you to construct an appropriate graph that shows the relationship between the number of therms used and the average monthly temperature and i would say that an appropriate graph here would be yes you're right it would be a scatter plot And if you construct a scatter plot in your calculator, it would look like this. Right, uh, both options for the order of the axes are um, shown below. So either is fine. And then you, it's time to answer the last question. Describe what your graph in part B reveals about the relationship between the number of therms used and the average monthly temperature that is not revealed on the bar chart sent by the utility company. Well, over here, you need to have some um, requirements in your answer. So if you look at either of those, you can see like a general trend, like, I don't know, like something like this, right? So we can say that it's, first of all, it shows like a moderate, but I would actually say it's more of a strong, right, relationship. And it shows a negative relationship right because you say or you can say that the number of therms decreases as the temperature increases or vice versa and third that you can say it is like somewhat curved relationship between the terms used and the average monthly temperature yeah and note that the word correlation is like not similar i mean not synonymous with linear so you better have all of these three components in your answer to get a full credit now this is end of the video please press the like button subscribe to our channel see you next time